In the past, I've shared the company of others that moved outside traditional paths. But this band of folks is by far the most exotic. You looked at me as you said that. What are you trying to say, Sky? Actually, you took it the wrong way around. You seem a bit more conventional than, say, Wildflower or Zoo. The Guardian says that everyone hides a part of themselves, that they don't always look like what they really are. I certainly hope that part's in there somewhere. Look, I didn't mean to say... Anyway, I meant no offense to anyone, and I'll just leave it at that. Yes, I'd welcome the chance. I never really answered your question about how I tracked Gao down. It's not that bad a story, if you still want to hear it. I lost the men who murdered my daughter, but there are other ways to track men besides following their footprints, something I know all too well. Eight years ago, when my wife passed away giving birth to Pin Mei, I decided to settle down. Before that, my life was less... stable. Not every girl likes pompous nobles or stuffy scholars. She and I saw eye to eye on many things, including living life to the fullest. You would have liked her if you'd met her, as long as she wasn't slipping through the upper window of your house to steal all your valuables. As I followed the trail of various slave trading rings, I started seeing connections. Strangely enough, all of them seemed tied to the Lotus Assassins. My question is, since it's so clear Gao is connected to the Assassins, could their order have similar associations with the whole slave market? Of course, I didn't know about the direct connection at the time, but I did find some tenuous links to Gao the Greater. By approaching it from the top down, Assassins to Gao to Slavers, I managed to piece together his involvement and learn the location of his base. My home was not far from Tien's landing, so I'm certain that it was Gao's men who took my daughter. Meeting you and being given this chance to take the fight higher, I'm glad I chased that bastard down. It's good to be here. There's much ahead of us, but at least we have allies and friends. That'll make the road easier. Speaking of which, we should keep moving, don't you think? When you say the word, we're ready to leave. I'm looking forward to seeing the Imperial City again. I appreciated the hectic pace when I was there. When we reach the Imperial City, we'll have a whole host of new problems. You have to love a challenge. I only spent enough time in Tien's Landing to learn the location of Gao the Greater Str it's a nice enough place, though they're still adjusting to the flooding of the old town some years ago. Oh. Something's on. Prosperous tidings. Uh, what can. Perhaps in a little while. Memory. What do you... What? That's it! You have everything you need. Just let me know when you want to go and we'll set the marvelous dragonfly to flight. Good! Good! My beautiful dragonfly will finally get a real test. Let's hope those modifications hold up.
Have you seen anyone matching the description? The Lotus Assassins are getting impatient. They were very vague and wouldn't answer my questions. Are they even sure of who they are looking for? Does it matter? Death's Hand himself seeks this one. Do you need any more incentive than that? Just question everyone. This person apparently caused a lot of damage in the South. Here, what about this one? At least it's a man, like they said. You! Identify yourself! By order of the Emperor and the Lotus Assassins, state your name and purpose for being in the Imperial City. We are questioning everyone who has arrived in the city recently. You bear a resemblance to someone we are looking for. I don't know. The young looks, the tunic is similar as well. It's not enough to be sure. Hmm. We could hold him anyway. It's not a good match, but the Lotus Assassins would leave us be for a few days while they question him. Is there a problem here, Captain? Well, is there? No, Princess Leanne. We were questioning this traveler by order of the Lotus Assassins. There is no need to pursue this questioning any further. You may go. My apologies, Princess, but I was ordered to detain anyone even vaguely matching. Captain, this man is here on a personal matter of mine that does not concern you. Do I make myself clear? Y yes Princess Leanne. Then unless you wish to be transferred to the Wall, you will leave and continue your search. Well, we meet again. I've watched your progress. It seems I underestimated you in Tian's Landing. I have no doubt that you will make as much of an impact on the Imperial City. I understand. Our last meeting was under... interesting circumstances. You may address me as Princess Lian, the Heavenly Lily. It is, as you can see, customary to bow in my presence. Your explanation lies in the simple bow you have given. Everyone around me kowtows low, obeying my whims. Honest opinion is rare. That is why I often travel without official escort, and occasionally present myself as someone less bridled by the rules of the court. You understand why I don't go into detail here in the street, don't you? With what I have to tell you, I don't want to lose that option of disguise. That would be best. I trust the servants I keep, but this is best discussed away from the open street. I will not speak the location aloud. Take this note. We will meet nearby. But I must have a moment to acquire more fitting attire. I have no doubt. I have questions for you as well. Hopefully we will both be able to find the answers we need. Don't be too long. My message concerns your master, and time is very important. It would not have been proper for her to award it to you herself, but Princess Sun Lian requests that you accept this gift. She looks forward to your next meeting. Imperial City. I'd always heard how impressive it was. The stories didn't do it justice. This is all so much to absorb. I would appreciate your counsel if you have time to speak privately. I don't mean to distract you. I just wanted someone familiar around me for a moment, if only to reassure me that we are still in the Empire I thought I knew. I have long dreamed of reaching the Imperial City, but now that I have, under these circumstances, I am more overwhelmed than ever.
But that's what is bothering me. We can't be a long way from home because our home is gone. I can no longer say that what I see is strange or foreign because I have lost what I would have compared it to. I am the one out of place now. I... I would like that. To know you will be there no matter what. I've never had that stability. At least not before joining the school. As a child, I was marked by ill omens, apparently named for them. The people in Two Rivers were polite, but many did not hide the discomfort I caused them. I was watched, studied. If someone's ox died within a season of me bumping my head, it was somehow my fault, and I was treated like a pariah. How do you deal with being able to sense the spirit world when people make such absurd conclusions? I... I cannot change who I am, I know. Perhaps I just have to let all of that go. It will not be easy. But I do feel that you have given me a strength I did not have before. I very much appreciate your support. We should continue this discussion later. I have much to think about, and our work here has only just begun. The Imperial City. I never dreamed I would reach it. All right. That is not really necessary right now, although I do enjoy the attention. We have come so far together. Thank you for that. I've only been here as long as you have. I doubt I have any information you would find useful. All right. What did you want to ask? We just have to keep going. That's all we can do. Don't go too far. I'd get lost in this city. I know it. I can't believe my luck. I arrive home after being lost, only to find that my wife has gone off to visit relatives. No, you misunderstand me. My wife, she's not here. I thought I was as good as dead. Now my execution is delayed. Until her eventual return, of course. You're beginning to sound like my wife. Where were you last night? Why were you talking to that woman? Why do you smell like a goat? Always with the questions. As I mentioned earlier, after becoming tournament champion for the second time, I was forced to marry my sponsor's nubile niece. She is the reason I no longer fight. My disapproving dove did not care for my drinking, or for my friends, or my fighting, or my friends fighting. She believed I should settle down, be more respectable. At first I ignored her rebukes and continued fighting, but I soon learned that she was not a woman to be crossed. Prior to one fight, my duplicitous daisy drugged my wine. I don't remember much of what happened next, which is fortunate. From what I hear, it wasn't very pretty. I spent the next several months under the tender ministrations of my doting wife. Needless to say, when I was well enough to walk again, I was more than happy to settle down. As to why I became a bondmaster, well, it's a hard, thankless job that keeps me very, very busy. Very busy. We made it this far. How hard can it be from here? From what I've seen, you're more than capable of handling anything we're likely to encounter. As you say, I will be here scrubbing your pots until you call upon me again. Always happy to help. What do you need? I haven't been to the Imperial City in a while. I traveled here some time ago in my hunt for Gao. In fact, this is where the hunt began. I've come full circle, and I think it's time to let go of the past and look forward. We have exciting things ahead of us. There's no point in living in the past either. 
In my heart, I know my daughter rests as easily as any spirit now. Whatever happens, I have that. And if we succeed, I know she finds peace. If I could go back, I don't know if I would. I'm a different man now, and while I treasure the past, I look forward to the future with the same warmth. Bah, we'll find a way through any troubles. We're too resourceful to roll over and die. I'm excited to be back in the city. It feels like we're one step closer to our goal, but you know that better than anyone. You brought us to this point after all. Who else could have gathered this crew or found such a quick way out of Tien's landing? How do you manage that kind of humility? Some sort of special training? It's good to see you still have a sense of humor. Some people mistake dry and boring for humble, and that's simply no fun. Given what we face, we need all the laughter we can get. Regardless, we have an empire to shake up. Let's go see how much trouble we can cause. Of course. I'll be here if you need anything. What? What do you want? Too much talking and thinking can be dangerous, I should know. I remember one cold winter I took a job clearing rats from a local monastery. I was supposed to make sure the pests stayed out of the sacred pools, but hunting rats one at a time is boring work. So I had an idea, a way to catch them all at once. I convinced the monks to give me some of their sacred wine, and I filled the sacred pools. I figured if I could get the rats drunk, they'd be so much easier to catch. Nothing happened at first, so I helped myself to the wine. I passed out before the rats came. In the middle of the night, I was woken up by screaming monks and fiery explosions. It was just the rats. The poor furry buggers were just trying to get warm near the monks' fires after their swim in the wine. Not a good combination. The monks wanted me gone. I might have deserved the blame. But the abbot insisted it was a sign from the gods and closed the monastery. See what happens when you think too much? Whatever. What? Well, the city has everything you could ever want. Fighting, money, wine, and... Um, and with something else that people like, but I can't quite remember what it is. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll come to me once I've had a few bowls of wine. Let's get something to wet our tongues. Women! That's the one I forgot. <laughs> I must be getting sober if I'm forgetting that one. Whatever. I trust your plans go well. Despite the dangers you face and inflict, is there something I can do for you? I think it's unwise to trust the Emperor's daughter. She acts without regard for her station, but she is a slave to it like we all are. What other truths might she have missed? She may have good information for you, but I suspect she has her own agenda. Be careful. I will end. They are as powerful as fear allows them to be. Not the specific information you are looking for, I'm sure, but you did ask about my feelings. If their tactics have not changed, everyone fears them as children fear the shadows, never knowing what might come.
They are not outlaws. Their orders come from Death's hand and he is the will of the Emperor. At least, that is how it was meant to be. Pardon my outburst. Every act of the Assassins has the approval of the Emperor. We were supposed to reflect his glory. That is why some actions should never have been ordered. The Lotus Assassins were once the Order of the Lotus under Prince Kin, spiritual advisor to the Emperor. During and after the attack on Dirge, changes were made. As flames seared the sky, enemies of the Emperor faced a new threat, Death's Hand. He assumed command of our Order and we began silencing people. Some were killed only to serve as warnings. Others... Others had done nothing except be near his enemies. I am no stranger to death. That alone is not enough to disturb me. But I see only weakness in targeting innocence, peripheral to the real enemy. Weakness suggests losing the right to rule. Can you see how that shook my faith in the Empire? You seem to see why I had concerns. Perhaps you might understand. I have not said everything, and I have not yet decided if I will. But I see something in you that may set things right. We will see. For now, what else do you need? Goodbye. The, there is something here. Some evil thing has happened here. It beats on my mind and the Guardian, he can't hold it back. You can't stop me from being here. I may not be able to leave, but I can talk and see. I see you, mortal. I've been watching you. Ha! I am Yasen, the other of whom Chai Ka and this girl speak. They have suppressed me ever since we inhabited this body. But this place is different. The evil around me has given me strength. For now, at least and has opened potential doors. I don't claim to goodness, mortal. I hate your kind. But we can work together. If you help me, I shall help you. And I'll be much more valuable than the Guardian. Bah! Who cares about her? She's just another insect. This is about what I can offer you when the time comes. What? No! Chaika! You won't make me go! No! Wo oka wunir inakir no fun. Ponir shakir wo wo sir nikor pak. I'm sorry. They were fighting again. I'll be alright. Soon. Just... just give me time and I'll be alright. What do you want? This place is evil. I don't like it here. The people... they're hurting too. A black cloud hangs over this place. Please... don't leave me behind here. Not alone. Is there anything else you want? They don't come out very much. The Guardian protects me and keeps the other inside. When the other tries to get out, it feels like my head is going to tear itself apart. Yes. But the Guardian has always been with me, and I trust him. The other one has been there too, but smaller. They won't say why. They say we have to be with you now. Wasoki Pari, Nokasisa, your son, good Nawa Patia, 
дивний ок. Цир си си цуфон ир си са ир навор кук. Ок ир ок ир во апафава ир во са ир сон кут. Ок ир ок ир во кут си сир сунурк. Ук и пипир са ир татаси. Испирта. Ок кавори са ир пасе ир ую. Не во куп кипси тир сунурк. Во нау ир куп са ир та ни ир ок кун асо. Си ир су кут а фи фир но ни. Ук ир ок ир во куп си сир сунурк. Ук и пипир са ир татаси. Во ја куп ти ир. Ок ир а ја ју вир. Ха! Ја кеја ту мач фо дис вълп. Ук ир ок ир во куп си сир сунурк. Ук и пипир са ир татаси. There are spirits everywhere here in the city. Ghosts live inside of the people who remember them, just a little. Everyone has that spark, except for me. I have no one inside of me, except for the guardian and the other. But some of these people, the ghosts inside them cause so much pain. The ones that hurt? The spirits have such sad stories. The people don't know, though. All they understand is that they feel bad, but they don't know why. When you feel bad for no reason, you might have touched one of them. The city is old. So old. And so many people have lived and died here. There are spirits everywhere. I guess I can understand why so many of them feel so bad all the time. But we shouldn't talk about this so much. Who knows how much we'll draw their attention. We should keep going. Is there anything else you want? I... I... Oh! It's time you and I had a talk, mortal. You've been paying too much attention to this girl's problems and the Guardian's advice. We need more realism here. The girl is already dead. She's a walking corpse. She's nothing to anyone. What I want is the body. I need an anchor, and this little walking meat puppet can provide that. But Chai Ka gives me trouble. He's in my way. He's weak, but the girl sides with him. To take control, I need your help, and I'm willing to offer servitude for it. Ha! You say that now. But when the time comes, we'll see how much power tempts you. And if you continue to refuse, I still have ways to get my revenge. Oh no, ir kup tha ir tha ni ir ok kun aso. Si ir sukut a fi fir no ni. O a soki par ir no kasisa ir son kut na wa patia ir ni ok. What do you want? Well, well, is the Imperial City all you expected? 
It is quite a spectacle compared to the bulk of the Empire. The marvelous dragonfly performed perfectly, of course. Go explore the city. I will stay here and watch over the marvelous dragonfly. I have some ideas for making her even better. Go, have fun. I know I will. If you like, but nothing was ever built by talking about it. I've given some thought to the strange device that I was inspired to construct. I'm not sure what purpose it has yet, but it appears to be working, I think. Ah, just a few tweaks. Hmm, tight fit. Not sure how that will affect things. Eh, what's it? Hmm, I don't remember seeing that before. Eh, eh, just get this last. There we go. It's ready. Now we can finally find out just what it does. After I name it, of course. Nothing works right until you name it. How about the confoundable minutia? What? No, impossible! I, I fixed it! I checked everything! It should work! Unless... unless... no, I did that. Oh! Where'd the city go? Well, that was anticlimactic. A flash of light, but no resounding boom. What good is such a light if Earth doesn't meet sky? What? Oh my. It seems we have transported to a... a heaven. A strangely familiar one for some reason, but I don't recall ever moving to such a place before. It is strangely beautiful. We are clearly not in an earthly realm. This place is completely unknown to me. Or is it? I am compelled to... To take the steps this way. There are gears here that I remember. Watch where he goes. We'll need him to get out of here. Look at this. It's a marvel. A wonder of monumental proportions. A phenomenal piece of unbelievable craftsmanship. I haven't the slightest idea. But it must be important, wouldn't you think? I mean, just look at it. These machines, they are manipulators, fabricators. They bully energy into into something. They can be activated, deactivated, on and off, off and on, you, you see? I, I can only come to one conclusion. Lord Lau's furnace. Kang, you are speaking nonsense. Lord Lau is a legend, an artificer of the celestial bureaucracy. His works are too fanciful to be real. Legendary? Mythical? and overrated in some respects, but if anyone else has a better origin for such machines as this, I'm not hearing it. Artificer to the celestial bureaucracy, he creates machines that themselves also create, although I'd make them a little less delicate had I his resources. Still, he is an inspirational figure for inventors, and we are in his playhouse. You select the machines you want to activate, and then the tiger or the dragon button, like this. Don't worry. The individual machines are not activated. I think the switches must be thrown on at least two of the components before it will do whatever it does. 
you also have to select a fuel. It looks like there are a few pieces of cinnabar in the contraption, but it may accept others as well. Well, judging by the pile of ashes I found near the controls, if you do it wrong, it either creates a nice warm fire or burns the person standing here to a crisp. It looks like a powerful thing, so just guessing at the possible configurations will probably get you into trouble and waste the cinnabar in the machine. So, you might want to be careful how you go about it. Things like this usually have directions. Uh, no, recipes. No, that's not it. Um, uh, configurations. That's it. Very true. Perhaps you should give them a try. They didn't mean much before, but now we may have the tools to make something of them. A most... Well, given the rather fantastic nature of the furnace, I would bet that whoever has them doesn't really know what they are for. You found one previously in an unrelated endeavor. I'm afraid that is just the kind of continued uncertainty we will have to deal with. Keep your eyes open. Turn on the individual components, at least two of them. Place the fuel of your choice in the hopper, and then press either the tiger or the dragon button. Before you do all that, you should make sure you know what configuration you want. Otherwise, boom! <laughs> you never know what might happen. All right, all right. Have a look around, or whatever it is you do. Come and find me when you want to go back. Excellent! What an amazing machine! Now, if we can find more configurations, just imagine what we could do here! Yes! Amazing indeed! Of course, without more configurations, we'll never know just what it can really do!
a most intriguing place. Hidden fist! Quite a stroke of luck, but I wouldn't try that too many times without a configuration if I were you. Who knows what this device will choke out? Yes, amazing! Well, get
given the rather fantastic nature of the first, you found one previously in an un Very well. In the meantime, I will try to see if I can learn anything more about this interesting machine. I can always bring us back here later. What a wondrous flyer you have. You don't see any of that design about the city. Since they became more common among the nobles, flyers have been fascinating to me. Allow me to officially welcome you to the Imperial City. I am Bai, the Outcrier, and I am here to direct you around our illustrious capital if you have any questions at all. It would be an honor to say that I aided someone who was greeted by Princess Sun Lian herself. There are several districts within easy walking distance. This area is the Market District, and it is filled with all sorts of merchants and traffic. If you cross the waterway and turn left, you will soon come to the Gate of the Golden Way, a rich and luxurious place. The Golden Way is connected to both the Scholar's Garden at its far end and the Necropolis, though no one would venture into those burial grounds without good reason. Just over there is the Imperial Arena, where you can test your skills in the finest competition in the land, or grab a drink at the heart of the Empire Tavern within. Out by the waterway you can find the city gates and all manner of merchants hawking their wares. There's also a path off the market district that leads up to the Black Leopard School, home to an ancient order that studies the ways of combat. The Scholar's Garden is a wonder to behold. It is decorated with rocks taken from the Valley of Sprightly Stones. The finest minds in the Empire congregate in the garden. If you have a taste for history, the Necropolis is accessible from the Golden Way as well. A city of the dead, the Necropolis is filled with tombs of rich and poor alike. If you were wise, you would not look for the Lotus Assassins. They keep their secrets close, and even spreading rumors can catch their attention. How many travelers wander too close to their lair from simple ignorance, I wonder. There are rumors of a secret entrance into a fortress the Lotus Assassins call their own. The entrance may be in the Necropolis, which is off the Golden Way. If you're smart, you'll go no closer to that place than this question. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? There's almost always something happening in the city. There's Captain Sen, of course, standing guard at the gates out of the city. Word has it the captain has some bounties. Rich rewards for those who can track down some wanted criminals. You must know about the Imperial Arena. Kui the promoter is always looking for skilled fighters to participate in his matches. It's this huge building right here. There's word from the Scholar's Garden that some strange outlander has taken up residence there, causing quite the ruckus, as barbarians typically do. There's a rumor floating around that the Black Leopard School has been having some difficulties recently. Feuding masters, that sort of thing. The Black Leopard School lies across the waterway and up the grassy path, if you're curious. Word has it there's going to be a new play happening sometime soon in the Golden Way District over at the large pagoda on the left side of the road. It might not be ready to start yet, but it's certainly worth keeping an eye out for. That's all I can think of right now. I know many people in the city, but it is impossible to know everyone. Who do you seek? I'm sorry, I can't say I know anyone by that name. Maybe you can look up at the Black Leopard School, across the waterway and up the grassy path. Speak with... Are you mad? No one simply speaks with death's hand. He is the commander of the Imperial Army and the Emperor's most trusted servant. No. You do not speak with death's hand, and even presuming that you are worthy of that honor is considered treason. 
I know you're new to the Imperial City, but the Lotus Assassins are everywhere. They do not tolerate treason or sedition, and casual questions can be viewed as such. There's a... there... Of course. I... I... A pleasure to be of service. Enjoy your stay here. On the lookout for the scourge of the south it is your duty as citizens of the empire to report anyone who matches this description keep an eye out for a young man dressed in plain blues and greens he is heavily armored from head to foot reports suggest he is well over seven feet tall and fully armed this man is very dangerous do not try to apprehend the scourge of the south but instead, report what you've seen to the authorities immediately. Well, all these years together, and I never suspected you were the scourge of the South. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's not funny. At least they didn't get your looks right. The scourge of the South has destroyed whole villages in the South. Many innocents have suffered at the hands of the Scourge. Out of sheer spite, the Scourge flooded ancient ruins, wantingly destroying our very own heritage. The Scourge associates with nefarious fox spirits, aiding them in their occupation of our once pristine forests in the south. A group of river-faring businessmen have been attacked and forced to flee. Nobody is safe from this criminal. His own master died at his hands, and he had fellow students kidnapped and tortured just because they didn't agree with him. If you think you've seen this person, you must report it to the authorities at once. It is your duty. Look at this place. So many people. This truly is the heart of the Empire. Some of the finest items you'll ever find can be bought right here in the city. I've heard rumors of a young hero making quite a stir in Tien's Landing. My uncle saw a ghost while traveling in the south. I don't think I'll be traveling that way anytime soon.
Your parentage is below average, and your ancestry is of questionable worth. You dress yourself in the manner of a common laborer. Nobody's paying any attention. Keep trying, just as I instructed. Your physique seems exceptional. Clearly you are a peasant. A noble could afford sloth. Your breath is like the wind of an ox. Your last meal was of suspect quality. Your beliefs are superficial, and your culture is substandard. You are right to demand an explanation. Forgive my servant. I instructed him to find someone not distracted by mere insults. Someone who would command respect. Your demand for justification of his arguments was admirable. You are exactly what we need. An outlander strolled into the city several days ago and now sits like a cormorant taking what he wants from the river of our hospitality. He balks at our attempts to calm him and answers requests for payment with strange coins of questionable value. He needs to go. The outlander is not a dignitary or traveling merchant. He is a parody of civilized behavior. He spews insults at the emperor himself. So far, he has escaped the notice of any higher officials. Perhaps he was mistaken for an actor in a troupe, but that will not last. If he is reported, the Lotus Assassins will take notice. They'll want to know if he was harbored or his offense was encouraged. Guilt by association is enough for them. That's what's so infuriating. He doesn't respond to reason. He proposes challenges we don't understand, and then declares himself the winner. Several of our brightest have faced him, but as soon as they get the better of him, he sets off his strange firework and says they are beaten. Normally, the peasants like it when we intellectuals are maligned, but they tire of his presence, too. Getting rid of this nuisance will endear you to many. I hope your ability matches your conviction. Several others have fallen short, despite their outrage at his antics. He is in the scholar's garden, and no amount of opposition has moved him. Please, I hope you will prove to be a worthy opponent. The busy streets are almost overwhelming. It is hard to keep focused on what we need to do. I didn't expect you in your strange training to make it to the Imperial City. You are proving to be a very interesting person. Of course, I could tell that just by looking at you. You have a very strong presence. As the Heavenly Lily, I am above suspicion, but I am restrained by fawning servants. Silk Fox can go anywhere, and people are not shy about their reactions. There is a thrill, of course, and it allows me to find information useful to us both. Death's Hand brought your master Lee to the palace a few days ago. I saw the flyer. He was bound in chains. He must be powerful, but I still don't believe he is Sun Lee, the glorious strategist.
I was too young to know him. I was told that he and Prince Kin, the third brother, fell defending the Empire 20 years ago. Now it seems they may have been traitors. I discovered this looking through records for information on Death's Hand. Perhaps he tried to influence Sun Li and Sun Kin before corrupting my father. But it doesn't matter who your master is. I could take you to the palace, but Death's Hand controls what my father hears. He must be discredited for you to succeed. Death's Hand has almost total control over my father. We must find conclusive evidence of his crimes and reveal his corruption. And I know how. Construction on the wall has stopped for the first time in generations. The workers now toil in factories building powerful creatures of stone and clay called golems. Death's Hand could use these automatons to seize the Empire and my father is oblivious. We must infiltrate the Lotus Assassins and find evidence of this treachery. We need proof of Death's Hand's intent from the seat of his power, the Lotus Assassin Fortress. It would be impossible to assault, so just walk in. They are recruiting. Have any Lotus Assassins who saw your face live to report back? I doubt it. They will not recognize you as the person who fought them in Tian's Landing. They have a vague description full of guesswork that has guards holding people at random. Besides, they expect an attack, not someone trying to catch their eye. I would wager that you may profit from their tasks too. Can you see the beauty in using their own methods of recruitment to fight them? I think they deserve it. There are guilds within the Lotus Assassins. Executioners look for fearsome warriors. Inquisitors are more subversive, and they look for cunning in their agents. If you prove yourself in the arena, they will notice you. My people can spread rumors of your interest. The Executioner will take a real interest when you finish the Silver Round. Or, if you prefer, the Inquisitor Recruiter is also seeking new people. He might be open to persuasion. Death's Hand rules over the Lotus Assassins, so I take special interest in their activities. I've had most of my life to ask questions. You suspect my motives? You have no reason to doubt me. If I wanted the Lotus Assassins to find you, I could simply tell them your name. Yes, I will have my people spread rumors of your interest. Once you pass the silver round, the executioner will take an interest. I'm sure he will find you as impressive as I do. Or, if you prefer, court the Inquisitor. Ask scholar Dong Gao in the Scholar's Garden about him. I hear Dong Gao is closer to the assassins than he should be. I will wait at your flyer. Or I could travel with you. Before you get too lost, perhaps we should, uh, discuss how closely we will be working together? A wise preference. No offense intended to your amusing companions. Hello again. I enjoy our little chats, but I don't think anything has changed since we last spoke. I still need evidence against Death's Hand to free my father. Meet the Executioner in the arena, or speak with Scholar Dung Gao in the Scholar's Garden about the Inquisitor. Hurry, or you'll lose your chance to help your master. We've gone over this. Death's Hand is using the prisoners who should be working on the wall to construct some sort of personal army of golems. My father probably knows something, but not the true danger of it. I need to show that Death's Hand intends to seize control. The Lotus Assassins act for Death's Hand. There has to be proof of his evil intent in the Lotus Assassin Fortress. That is where you need to go. Did you like it? I thought you might want a little assistance. Consider it a small token of my favor.
I thank you for your courtesy. A woman always likes to hear when her gifts are appreciated. It is difficult for one of my rank to give gifts, even one so simple as what I gave you. A princess is not normally allowed to show favorites. Better that I give it away before Death's Hand carts it off. He has been quite brazen. Besides, it was mine by birthright to do it as I wish. Must I always be dictated to by tradition, despite my respect for it? Sometimes I want what everyone else has, to be myself. And to be myself, I gave you what I wished. Hmm. Well, you're polite at least. Most nobles take gifts as a matter of course, especially those from a woman. But the price I may pay for helping you could be greater still. I am destined for the throne, destined to rule the Empire after my father, but... That will be meaningless if Death's Hand keeps his hold on my father's mind. I fear one day he may try to... interfere with the Imperial succession. Or perhaps convince my father that he should be Emperor by marriage. Indeed, we cannot. I would bite my own tongue before ever allowing that man to touch me. I'm sorry, I've ruined the mood. We should continue our talk another time. First, we must expose Death's hand, reveal his treachery and manipulation. I will answer what I can, but you have other things to do as well. My father? What do you want to know that isn't already public knowledge? Emperor Sun Hai is well known and well loved. Death's hand is wearing away at that reputation, however, and I need to stop him before it goes too far. He has been present for as long as I can remember, but he only rose to prominence after the end of the long drought. My father was very caring when I was a child. Now he is cold and distant. I know Death's Hand is corrupting him somehow. I will answer... I wish you luck. Once you have gained the trust of the Lotus Assassins, we will plan how to proceed. Well, look who we have here. There's no princess to save you this time. Do you think we'd forget? You can't humiliate us and just walk away. Don't look at me. I can't do anything right now. Not like this. We'll teach you to insult a guard of the Imperial City. This will be a great tragedy!
Good day, citizen. Some minor thing I can help you with? It's the Honorable Lotus Assassins, you see. They feel that those of us dedicated to the Imperial Army are nothing more than louts to be ordered about. Any member of the Army, even City Guard, is expected to defer any major disturbances to them. Makes me about as useful as a lamppost. This area is known as the Market District. Predictably, plenty of merchants set up their shops around here, and it's usually bustling. On the north side of the district is the Imperial Arena. The heart of the Empire Tavern in the upper level is a nice place to relax. What else? Oh, yes. There's the Black Leopard School up on the hill on the south side. Lots of skilled warriors get their start there. What district are you looking for? To reach the Necropolis, you need to go to the Golden Way first. Once there, you can ask another guard, if you're still lost. To reach the Golden Way, go into the pavilion on the north side of the garden and make your way through the rooms of illumination. When you reach the large wooden pavilion, exit its west side and proceed down the hill to the south. I'm afraid not. I'm on duty, and it's imperative that I remain focused on what few tasks I'm still deemed capable of performing. A fellow guard once paused for idle chit-chat with a woman. She went to the Lotus Assassins with the story of his inattentiveness. Next thing you know, he's arrested for threatening the security of the Empire with his lax ways. I don't know what happened to him, but I don't want to share his fate. Be about your business, and stay out of trouble. Pleasure to be of service. I'm not worried about ghosts. If there are any, the Emperor will deal with them quick enough. I've heard rumors of a young hero making quite a stir in Tien's Landing. Onu yu wir napayir wo onu yu sayir ikupan. The Jade Empire would be in ruins if it wasn't for Emperor Sun Hai. The princess is very beautiful. If I was like her, then all the girls would like me. Wo kawu so yir noka wo wo tarawe yil shaksi yiro finu pifu. I've seen some strange things in this city, but it's still the only place I'd want to live. Those Lotus Assassins make me nervous. They just look so... unnatural. What? Oh, you. You're the one with the flyer, aren't you? Uh, forgive my impertinence, but do you own that flyer, perhaps? I am Hingu, a mechanic and a businessman. I supply upgrades to people fortunate enough to have flyers. However, I have had some trouble attaining parts of late. My previous associate went on a trip to retrieve valuable parts and never returned. I need someone brave, someone who is a capable pilot. The missions I have are dangerous, but the rewards are worth it. I will pay you good silver, and I can sell you parts for your flyer, uh, to make it better. What? Make it better? This is the finest ship of its kind. I should know. I made it. You're just a fix-it man. What would you know about ships? I have been working on flyers since they first started appearing in the Empire. I take these rickety contraptions and make them into something amazing. Rickety? There has never been a flyer more solid than the marvelous dragonfly. Rickety? Your wits are the only thing rickety around here. I have some supplies in the North Provinces that I need to pick up immediately. We've had trouble with bandits up there, so it might be tricky. If 
If you could bring me those supplies, I'd have the parts necessary to upgrade your flyer. What do you say? Very good. Here's your wind map. It'll show you where to go. I'll also pay extra if you get rid of those bandits plaguing the area. We have to get out of the fight! You're scuffing the finish! Okay, another impact and we start losing pieces. Abandon the fight! You have returned, and in one piece, I see. Not bad. You brought back the supplies and you took out a few bandits on your way. You can have a little bit extra for that. There were some great flyer parts among those supplies. Would you like to have a look at them? Or if you'd prefer, I could tell you about another mission I have for you. Yes, of course. I have some very interesting items now. So, would you like to hear about the mission I have for you? Excellent, I am most pleased. The Prefect of Shangdang County will be glad to hear he has an escort. His ships have taken a heavy toll lately. 
There are many raiders between here and the Prefect's home, and his ship is intended more for luxury and less for war. Get the Prefect home safely, and I will reward you well. The Prefect has also told me to offer you extra silver for destroying as many of the raiders as you can. The Prefect is anxious to be going. Here's your wind map, and remember, protect the Prefect's flyer at all costs. Excellent work. The Prefect is happy to be home, safe, no doubt. I see you were able to dispatch a few of the raiders on your way. I'll top up your payment a little for that. Would you like to see some of my upgrades? Or could I interest you in doing another mission for me? Yes, of course. I have received word that my associate is alive, if not well. He was shot down by Imperial Flyers while retrieving some sensitive information. Fly to the destination on the wind map and destroy anyone who attacks you. Drop off these parts so my associate can repair his ship and return. The area you will be flying into is private land, and by right only the Emperor's servants are allowed entrance. But there is a truth there that must be uncovered. Be careful. These Imperial Flyers are extremely dangerous. Good luck.
You've done it. Chang, my associate, is on his way back. Here, I owe you this and more. I regret I have no more missions for you, but I'm always here if you require upgrades for your flyer. Thank you again. Yes, of Hello again. I enjoy our little chats, but I don't think anything has changed since we last spoke. Meet the Executioner. Why haven't I seen any activity among the Lotus Assassins yet? You should talk to the contacts I gave you. Remember our arrangement? You secure the evidence of the army Death's Hand is building, and I'll get you to the palace to confront my father. I'm sure you are, but if you did it quicker, we would all benefit. Death's hand grows stronger, and my father grows weaker. I can't agree with this. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't know the danger they represent. Really? What did you see while hiding in your swamp? I've observed Death's hand for years, both in the palace and elsewhere. You could have four faces and a different name and wardrobe for each, and you still wouldn't understand. Death's hand is not what he seems. Then what, pray tell, is he? I don't know. But his power does not come from study or skill. He is something darker, and we should not be trying to enter his lair. It sounds like Sagacious Zoo wants to go back into hiding, or perhaps the nursery? Pay no attention, not everyone is as weak as he is. You don't know what they are capable of. The matter is settled. Go sulk in the corner like you're accustomed to doing. This is not helping anything. Are we any closer to getting to the Lotus Assassin so this accursed woman will help us find Master Lee? Oh, she spits fire at last. Now I see how the child left her little village. She has some spirit in her after all. And she's also right. We are no closer to finding the secret plans that Death's Hand has been making. You have to move quicker. Go to the Imperial Arena to meet the Executioner, or speak with Scholar Don Gao in the Scholar's Garden about the Inquisitor. I wish you luck. Once you have gained the trust of the Lotus Assassins, we will plan how to proceed. I trust your plans go well, despite the dangers you face and inflict. It is a foolish idea. You do not understand the seductive nature of the Assassins and what they do to recruits. It does not take much to make a person forget who they are. With a little effort, they can be pushed past any morals they might have claimed. Cloaked in service and honor, even the most depraved of barbarity soon becomes unremarkable. A naive assumption. Perhaps you can avoid direct participation, but their fanaticism will still affect you. The rot that is Death's hand permeates the complex. He was made our leader during the raising of Dirge. He replaced Sun Kin, who along with the glorious strategist, never returned from that campaign. I did not serve Death's hand long, but when the orders came, he never questioned. The connection is more direct than loyalty and he instills that in his Lotus Assassins. That is how so many were driven to kill without cause, and why I decided no more. There was more to that event. You are right to sense it. 
but I have kept my silence for so long that I must carefully consider the repercussions of breaking it. I must inevitably deal with my demons. Your destiny demands it, but I must also know that those demons will be put to rest, not exploited. For many years, I did nothing. If I had known Master Li was the glorious strategist, so much could have been resolved one way or another. In the end, I will have to trust that you are enough his student to find a way to protect what I cannot. So you claim. I am not accustomed to words having such weight. We should... we should resume your mission. You have far to go. Goodbye. You seem tired, Dawnstar. Make sure you get some rest. Our journey will only get longer, and you've been through a great deal. Thank you, Sue. I'm fine. I will find time once we have set things right. I won't, but our cause will not wait for us. Thank you both for your concern. Yes? I like to think that we can take time to talk about... important things. I don't want to seem ungrateful for her help, but having Silk Fox here is causing me some concern. I mean, she is the daughter of the Emperor, and we do not know his role in Master Li's capture. Can she be trusted? To you, perhaps, but not to me. I think I am perceived as a rival, but no one has told me what the game is. The princess? The daughter of the Emperor is jealous of me? <laughs> I think the size of our task has addled your senses. What could I possibly have that would make her jealous? What does a woman from the Borderlands have that the princess herself does not? Well, that is just foolish, isn't it? You have always been a good friend to me, but I never meant... I, I mean, I couldn't... No. No, I should have more control over this. This is too uncertain. You can't manipulate me into admitting something like this. Not when you can leave whenever you want. I prefer to have more control over myself, and as much control over what goes on around me as possible. Silk Fox, or whatever she wants to be called, is an unknown I can't compensate for. I can't stay in balance if I don't know what she represents. You and I, we talk and share thoughts, but she forces me to consider where that might lead, both good and bad. I'm not ready for that. I don't know what to do with you. You have become so different since we left Two Rivers. Or perhaps it is me. For all the trouble we face, I feel like a weight is lifting. I think we will have a great deal more to discuss in the coming days. I'm looking forward to it. Until then, thank you for being so understanding. Master Lee was right. You are special. Don't go too far. Always happy to help. What do you know? Dawnstar has been telling me about two rivers, the swamp, and Gal the Lesser. I was sorry to hear about your town and your friends. It brought a question to mind. 
There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Why? Seriously, why are you doing this? Details aside, you're fighting the Empire as a whole when you oppose the Lotus Assassin's Death's Hand or the Emperor's Will. I know all about your village and your master, and that explains some of it. What it doesn't explain is your drive, your strength. What gives you that? I wonder if fate cast this burden upon you, or if you rose up on your own to shoulder it. History will probably decide. I know you're going to follow Silk Fox's plans to find a way into the Assassin's Den. It won't be easy, but I'm confident we'll succeed. It's what happens after you find a way in that has me worried. I know, I know, but never in their lair, never in that place. I knew men and women who were drawn to the Lotus Assassins. They went into that place to prove themselves, as you intend to. And the few who made it back out were... different. That's reassuring to hear. I'm afraid of what would happen if they convinced you that their way is right. I know you'll be fine. The Assassins will be lucky if you don't bring the place down around their ears. Just be sure not to tip your hand before you're ready. That's all in the future, though. We should keep at what we're doing. There's a lot left to tackle before we're done. Of course. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, I am eager to return there. It is a masterful array of artful mechanics, despite being a bit overly polished. This Lord Lao, he could use a bit of restraint. Certainly, it's just a flick of a switch, and I'm reasonably sure the trip isn't even doing any irreparable harm.
save it. Very well. Hmm, you're a princess, eh? You don't look like any nobility I've ever seen. And what, pray tell, does nobility look like to a wine-soaked sot like you? Wide-eyed and terror-stricken when I kick in their doors. Well, I guess that's why you live in a palace in the sky. Not so easy to break those doors down. What? I said she wasn't like the nobility I'm used to. Besides, if she wanted to be pampered, she wouldn't be here. If I required your approval, I'm sure I would be grateful. I love sh Lost? I hope my daughter will grow to be as beautiful as the princess, though perhaps less unruly. <laughs> I hope my daughter will grow to be as beautiful as the princess, though perhaps less... Oh no, you weird... The prince...
Welcome, welcome! Did someone from the Black Leopard School send you? No, I suppose you don't quite look like one of their students. Well, no matter. If you're looking for weapons, I have quite a good selection and reasonable rates. Would you like to see what I have for sale? Not much to tell, really. I've been working with the school for almost 20 years, like my father did before me. When they asked me to work for the school exclusively, I accepted. I'd rather have a steady life making weapons by the bunch than doing special orders all the time. And every once in a while, I get to make something unique. The masters have some amazing scrolls describing weapons I never even knew existed. Hmm. Well, it's the best of its kind in all the Empire, or at least that's what I'm told. Of course, it's seen better days. Having two masters has really hurt the school, if you ask me. Seems the students spend more time bickering than fighting. But what do I know? If it was me, I'd just kick one of the masters out on his ear. I'd like to tell you which one, too, but I'd better not. Best not to get involved. Here you go. There's quite a lot, so take your time. Watch yourself around the Lotus Assassins. Some of the finest items you'll ever find can be bought right here in the city. Good day to you. Are you here to help my friend, Prefect Zhitong, with this little difficulty we're having? Oh, no, I suppose you aren't. Well, then I really shouldn't be speaking to you. I don't want to make his job any harder than it is already. I'd love to speak with you, but Prefect Jitong gets very edgy when people question his... suspects. He's looking for some dedicated citizen to help him in his investigations. If you could clear this mess up, I'd certainly be grateful. Good day, sir. Are you the new investigator I sent for? No, I can tell from your attire that you're not from the Ministry. Oh, this is terrible. Everyone I send for disappears. There are powers at work here that are beyond my means to control. I am Prefect Jitong. It is my duty to ensure that convicted criminals in the city are sentenced appropriately. But there are complications with my current trial. I have in my custody a suspected slave trader, Chandler Ling. But one of the high-ranking ministers is trying to get him released, and he wants me to convict another man. The man they want to accuse, Scholar Sun Tao, is a friend of mine, and I'm certain of his innocence. I need you to find proof so I can present it to the Minister of Justice. Really? You will help me? Thank you! Thank you so very much. I need to find proof that Ling is the guilty one, and by so doing, exonerate Song Tao. If I can't prove Ling's guilt, I'll be forced to sentence Song Tao to death. But every time I ask someone to discover the truth, they disappear or turn up dead. Our best lead is Zibao, the last person known to have spoken with Ling before his arrest. But Bao knows me and my men. He won't talk to us. I've known Scholar Song Tao for several years. His uncle and my father were good friends. I only wish I knew why the governor wants him accused of this crime. 
If you want to know more about Song Tao, you should speak with him yourself. Chandler Ling is a well-respected businessman and merchant here in the city. Until recently, I had no reason to suspect him of any wrongdoing. When I investigated Ling's shop, I found a valuable knife that I had purposely entrusted to one of my men, a man who has since disappeared. Chandler Ling had a knife belonging to a man whose body couldn't be found. That was all the evidence I required. I have no idea. The two men were seen together before we arrested Ling, but I have no other information about Zibao. He spends most of his time in the heart of the Empire Tavern, and he doesn't seem to have dealings with anyone else besides Chandler Ling. I know if I went to speak with him, I would get nowhere, but you could speak to him without raising suspicion. I wish there was something concrete I could tell you. They're like a whisper on the wind or a shifting shadow. You think you see something and then there's nothing. Whoever is behind the slavers must have a great deal of power. To remain that invisible is a hard thing to do. I have no idea. He spent. I. Good. Look for him in the heart of the Empire Tavern. It's upstairs at the Imperial Arena. Don't scare him away. If we lose him, we lose our last connection to Ling. Do we have time to deal with this? I didn't agree to join you so we could solve everyone else's problems. I don't know why you're wasting your time. I'm obviously innocent, and yet you still want to risk yourself needlessly. I'm no fool. Those men haven't returned, and I can assure you it isn't because they've decided to take a holiday. Chasing after criminals is dangerous work. Obviously, there are risks involved. Why would you risk yourself when even the local minister seems content with the scholar's arrest? What's to tell? I'm a merchant and quite a good one. My clients are usually very happy with my goods. You likely haven't heard of me simply because I have a very elite clientele. The average person on the street cannot afford the items I sell. Other than my occupation, I suspect we are very much the same, you and I, though I happen to be a little more restricted than you at the moment. Doing? I wasn't doing anything more than I usually do in a day's work. I was selling my wares to a few of my preferred clients. Prefect Jitong was one of them. The next thing I know, guards confiscate my goods and tell me I'm suspected of slave trading. It was likely the most ludicrous thing I've ever been told. Of course, the prefect claims that some of my items belong to his missing men, but that doesn't mean I took the items from their lifeless bodies. In a given day, I meet with several buyers and probably twice as many sellers. There are always more sellers than buyers. My job is to determine whether something is worth buying, not whether the seller is worth buying from. If I see a bargain, I don't care who the seller is. Suffice to say, those items could be from any number of sellers. I don't recall who sold them to me, but that certainly doesn't make me guilty of slave trading. No more than you've heard for yourself, I'm sure. They are a myth, a rumor, really. Nobody has ever seen them, and nobody has any proof they exist. And yet, there is still a belief that they exist. Madmen terrorizing the poor and abducting the helpless. It all seems very... superstitious. 
Abducting a person isn't like picking someone's pocket, you know. There would be evidence, signs of a struggle. But people will believe what they want to. In a given day, I meet with several. My job is to determine. Suffice to say, those I... Of course.